Hi, today we're going to remove an engine from an Enforcer RC boat for service. Okay, this is Evan's 46 inch Enforcer Team Offshore. Let's do a little tour. Um, one of the things he did was kind of cool. It was just a plain red hull. And when you get that with no paint, um, you get that window vinyl. And then he's added some cool graphics to it. Got an orange nose on it. A patriotic skull. <laughs> Okay, quick look at the tools that I'm going to use. I probably won't need all of these, but this is everything I take to the pond with me. So I got this um, handy dandy little mini ratchet set that works out really well. Um, ruler for setup, screwdrivers, uh, ball end wrenches, metric and American. Um, also, I got this little, little set that you can get from Bonsai, which has some specialized stuff in it for just, you know, that special occasion assortment of wrenches probably don't need all of these for this but uh, it's everything I need at the pond ah. Following just kind of threads onto the push rod in this end, so just unscrew it. Okay, and Dean's going to show us the proper way to remove a clip from a steering arm. You're going to take a small screwdriver and you're just going to work underneath the edge first to lift this up. Um, once you lift it, you just slide it over to the edge, to the side, and then pull it right off. Yeah. You don't want to pry it too high because it'll bend and it'll, it just won't come back, it won't spring back. Okay, we got it. These screws hold the tray to the box and the box to the rails. Throttle mm -hmm. arm standoff. Loosen that so I can pull it off. And this one's metric that goes to the engine. I think you can see it. There's a loop clamp that holds the throttle cable to the engine and points the cable right at the carburetor. Ball ends come in real handy. So, lost the washer down there, I'll get it later. 
radio box just pops right out and then go ahead and leave everything connected there make it easy to put back in and here's the compression fitting that I got to get off fittings probably their own word so I get to five eighths or not So that should be ready to come out. Now the next thing I got to do is get these four uh, Allen bolts out. There's one under the water pump there. Um, and then I was going to um, try to leave the pipe in and uh, um, just take this part of the manifold off. But there's another way you can go about it. You can uh, just uh, loosen everything up. We're going to move the, move the tank forward. And then just pop everything back, pipe and all, and then we'll just silicone it back in when we put the, excuse me, put the engine back in. All right. Um, let's go and get the tank out of the way. Some fuel here, so I'm just gonna put a rag down in there, pop that out. Actually, one in there, cool. Just slide that tank forward, and that's it. Okay, we're back at the shop again. I'm going to show you how to remove the cable from an enforcer boat on this Magnum 57. Right, that way you can see it. This is an 1164 Allen key and some needle nose pliers just in case. And it's an 832 screw. Take my Allen key, just take that screw out. Pull your prop shaft cartridge. Whoop. Pull your prop shaft cartridge out. He's filming. And usually the cable comes right on with it. As you can see now, the cable has been removed. Yeah, there. Should be it. Oops, one more.
And that's good. And there's one engine removed. Take it into the shop, give it a little service, put it back in. 